What's up guys, David here, and if you don't know already, I am a college student. I mean, I did kind of put that on the title of this video. <laughs> anyway, since I'm a college student, I should be smarter than a high school student, right? I mean, that's totally how this works, right? No? Alright, I, I see how it is. But I should be smarter than a fifth grader, right? Still no? Alright, let me prove you wrong. Yeah, a college student really needs to make a video to prove that he's smarter than a fifth grader. What am I doing with my life? Anyways, today I'm going to be taking a couple quizzes on the internet to see if I'm actually smarter than a fifth grader. I am so not going to regret this. Alright, so the first quiz is on BuzzFeed. It's called, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Prove it. Uh, so I guess I will try my best and prove it. Also leave this quiz in the description below. So uh, if you want to check it out yourself, go for it. Alright, so let's scroll to the first question. Where's the first question? Is it? Is this the first question? Alright. So, uh, if a car is traveling at 40 miles per hour, how long will it take to go 190 miles? Alright, so uh, 40 times 5 is 200, so um, it should be a little bit less than 5 hours, so I'm gonna go with 4 hours and 45 minutes. Alright, there you go. Sorry, uh, my computer was a little glitchy. So it tells you the subject, which is convenient, so um, this is... This question is fourth grade from fourth grade math. I, I believe that. All right, so let's let's continue. Um, true or false? The following picture is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. No, it's not. Um, it's definitely not a Tyrannosaurus Rex. I used to watch Dinosaur Train. Um, yeah, it's a Stegosaurus. Okay, it's from first grade animal science. Yeah, that, that's that's believable. I mean, I probably learned that in kindergarten. I mean, Dinosaur Train is for kindergartners after all. Alright, so how many nouns are in the following sentence? Alright, so it's from first grade English, so it should be pretty easy. So, um, the rabbit ran to the cafeteria and ate a big salad. I counted three. Um, uh, yeah. So, yep. Okay, so what unit measurement is abbreviated uh, OZ? That's ounces. So, yeah, that's third grade measurements? Uh, I mean, probably, actually. Yeah, um, true or false, the human shoulder is a ball and socket joint. Second grade health. All right, now I'm starting to call BS on this because there's no way I learned this in second grade. I probably learned this in like high school, but um, it's true. Um, all right, so which one of these is a mammal, a seahorse, a sea lion, or a sea urchin? Third grade life science? Huh? I think this is more of second grade animal science, just like that dinosaur question. But um, it's the sea lion, guys, come on. This is too easy. All right, which content is the least populated? Like, are you talking about people or animals? I mean, it's from second grade world geography, so it's probably Antarctica. Um, so it's probably talking about people. So um, it says, since the late 1930s, uh, what calendar date has been designated for the inauguration of the United States president? Fourth grade social studies. Damn, I must have not paid attention in fourth grade because I have no I. I mean, I don't, it's not like, I have an idea, I just don't know it. All right, uh, I'm just gonna try to do the process of elimination. All right, so definitely not January 1st, come on. That, that's stupid. Why would someone do that on, on, a, on a holiday? That's that's like torture. Um, And I also don't think it's the 23rd, uh, because I feel like it should be more of like, you know, a, a more of an organized day when it comes to numbers, if that makes any sense. Um, so I'm just gonna pick one of these two, um, I'm gonna pick this one, watch it be right. Oh, let's go! <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I, I honestly did not know, which is really sad because, because a new president was just inaugurated this year. So, um, yeah, that's sad, but, um, whatever. Alright, so, um, this question is, in the initials of a federal agency known as NASA, what does the first A stand for? So this one? Alright, so, um, I have no idea. But um, I guess I'll just do uh, the process of, of elimination again. So, okay, so um, I highly doubt it's association or administration because that's that's probably the second A. Okay, so yeah, it's usually the last A, the last word of an organization or like an agency. Um, and N, I'm pretty sure stands for national. So if it's national, why would it be American? That doesn't make sense. So um, I'm gonna pick whatever this says, well, whatever word this is. And yeah, I figured that was correct. Okay, so um, what revolutionary leader wrote the influential Common Sense in 1776? It's definitely I'm. It's definitely not Abraham Lincoln or John Adams because those people were. I don't even think they were really relevant at that time. Um, because like I know Abraham Lincoln was the, uh, was the president uh, like 
like uh, in the 18 something. He was the 16th president. Uh, I don't think I don't think John Adams had anything to do with it, even if he were to be relevant at the time. Uh, I'm not that great with history, but I'm pretty sure he was not relevant in United States history at that time. Um, John Locke, he's a philosopher, right? I, I don't. I think he's a philosopher. So. Um, yeah, and I also do, and I, so I, I'm going to go with Thomas Paine, and his name does kind of ring a bell uh, from a push, so I'm going to go with Thomas Paine, I'm pretty sure this is correct, I'm pretty sure I heard his name associated with something about common sense, even though I don't know a whole lot about common sense. Uh, yeah, so I thought, alright, like, I think I got all of them right so far, I, I still want to know if I can get a single one wrong, wait, no, I shouldn't, I should be getting all of them right, because I'm smarter than a fifth grader, right? <laughs> All right, so, um, oh my god, no, I don't know this one. What was the f name of the first satellite pulled into orbit by the United States? I have no idea. All right, I'm just gonna pick a random one. Um, uh, whichever one my mouse is circled on was the one I'm gonna pick. Where's my mouse? Why <laughs> I put it all the way up here. All right, let's try it one more time. Where's my mouse? Okay, so it's... Uh, it's closest to Explorer. I'm gonna go and pick it. Let's see if I got this right. Please, please, let's go! Oh my god, I'm having too much fun. <laughs> All right, so bonus question number one. Uh, can I get these wrong? What ancient civilization built the Machu Picchu complex in Peru? What? I don't know. Fourth grade history? From where? A school in Peru? I don't know this. I'm just gonna pick a random one. I'm gonna pick this one. Okay, ah, I got that one wrong. How the hell am I supposed to know that? Like all the other ones, I can at least try to guess. Alright, bonus question number two. What species can live in both water and land? I can't. No, I'm kidding. Um, and it's an amphibian, come on. Okay, so it says, uh, alright, cool. So it says, you got 12 out of 13, right? Yes, you're smarter than a uh, fifth grader. So yeah, um, I scored better than 99% of quiz takers. Dang! Is, can your friends beat you? I challenge you guys to beat me right now. Wait, no, what am I saying? You guys already know the answer. <laughs> All right, so we got another one right here. It's uh, it's from Quiz Grizz. I've never heard of this website. Um, And so I, I think it has 20 questions and I'll leave this one in, in the link uh, in the description as well. And uh, you guys can go ahead and challenge me and tell me what you guys get. All right, Um, so let's get started. So I think this this is a science question, so... um. For someone older than 10 years old, how many times per minute does an average heartbeat? This is not something I, I learned in fifth grade, but I, it's 60 to 100, right? Yeah, I, I learned this in, um, I, I think I learned this in high school sometime, or like in anatomy in high school. Did I even take anatomy in high school? All right. So um, which bones protect your heart? I love how they literally highlighted those bones in yellow. <laughs> oh, it's the rib cage. All right. What does your cardiovascular system do? If you're trying to make this difficult, don't include a picture of the answer. Oh my goodness. All right. So, um, yeah. Oh my God. All right. And three of the answer choices make no sense. All right. So what is, uh, what is the closest star to, to earth? I actually don't know the answer to this off the top of my head, but, um, it's a picture of the sun. So I guess it's the sun. Watch, watch it be correct. Bruh. All right, whatever. I'm not complaining. Um, the moon casts a shadow on Earth during the... I don't know, guys. I don't know this. It's probably one of these two. I'm gonna go with the, the lunar eclipse. Frank, it's solar eclipse. Oh my goodness. All right, I have no clue what this what these things are. All right, so um, what causes tides? Uh, the gra it's probably the gravi gravitational pull of the moon and sun. Yeah. What attaches muscles to bones? The tendons? Yep. All right. So, so far I think I got one question wrong. I, I don't know uh, what's the password for this one. Uh, it's probably like get like, you know, two, maybe three wrong. I don't know. Um, what part of your bones make red blood cells? Uh, the soft marrow, right? Okay. What kind of creature is found at the top of the food train? Uh, the predator. Or, I, I guess, the apex predator. What is the greenhouse effect? Um, it's not these two. Uh, gases trapped on the Earth. Gases trapped in the Earth's atmosphere and warm Earth. That makes a lot of sense. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the right answer, though. Alright. 
what causes diseases? All of them, right? <laughs> I mean, realistically, pretty much all of these could cause some sort of disease, but like specifically, it's obviously a pathogen. Um, a blank organism is an organism with only one cell. Unicellular. I learned this in biology. <laughs> all right, so Charles Darwin came up with the theory of, oh crap, I don't know, oh my goodness. I think it's the evolution. I, 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 I really don't, like this is something I learned in ninth grade biology. Um, I'm, I'm gonna go with evolution. I think that's correct. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. What is extinction? It's where some, it's where a species is no longer existing. Um, yep. All right. What force, what is the force that occurs when one object rubs against the other object? That's friction, right? I mean, I haven't learned this since elementary school, but I'm pretty sure, that, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so I guess this is kind of designed for fifth graders. Um, so, uh, what is condensation? It's where, oh my goodness. I have to, it's either, it's one of these two. Um, I'm gonna go with this one. I think it's where it changes into liquid, right? Yeah. Okay, all right, I'm pretty good at guessing. The three types of pulley systems are fixed, movable, and oh my god. Not this, this is something all the elementary school students should know. Like this is definitely something they're learning. I that's the only time that we actually learned this crap. Um, sling, sling pulley? It's definitely, it's probably not immovable. Let's go with compound. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got that right, all right. Which of these helps an animal protect itself from predators? Food? No. Uh, camouflage does. Yeah. Uh, blank is a small cell that grows into a new plant. Okay, so it's whatever this thing is, um, I think. So this, the brown stuff, is not a, a wait, no, it's not, yeah, it's not a stem, it's not a flower, and it's not a leaf. It, is this spore? The picture, if this is correct, the picture definitely gave it away. Yeah, this is so, this is so good. All right, um, what kind of animal lays, what kind of animals lay eggs, breathe air, and usually cap scales, reptiles? How many questions, am I, is this the last one? It's the last one, all right. So let's see how good we did, or I did. So it says you passed. I guess that means I'm smarter than a fifth grader. So for those of you guys who think I am dumb, well, joke's on you because I'm smarter than a fifth grader. I know, right? Great accomplishment. What am I doing with my life? Anyways, that's all I have today. For those of you guys who were playing along with this video, how did you guys do? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.